Prince William is expected to modernize the monarchy and use his platform to speak his mind on issues that matter, according to royal sources. The Duke of Cambridge plans to phase out the royal family's never complain never explain mantra when he becomes king, a mantra rejected by Meghan Markle. Following Prince William and Kate's controversial Caribbean tour earlier this year, William senior staff spoke about his plans for the future of the establishment. Stopping the never complain never explain mantra will ensure the monarchy has some accountability should they face criticism, as the Cambridges did during their tour. While still a senior member of the firm, Meghan Markle admitted that she tried to adopt the British sensibility of a stiff upper lip but rejected it because it can do more harm than good. The Duchess of Sussex said that burying one's emotions is probably really damaging when speaking about criticism directed towards herself and husband, Prince Harry. During an ITV interview, Meghan said that the couple pushed back because she said it is not enough to just survive something. The Duchess of Sussex told presenter Tom Brady, I've said for a long time to H, that's what I call him, it is not enough to just survive something, right? That's not the point of life. You've got to thrive, you've got to feel happy and I think I really tried to adopt this British sensibility of a stiff upper lip. I tried, I really tried. But I think what that does internally is probably really damaging. The royal family, as a rule, is expected to stay out of politics and refrain from giving personal opinions on certain topics. They are also expected to never comment on allegations or attacks against them. It is believed the unofficial never complain, never explain motto originated from former Prime Minister Benjamin Disraeli and was later adopted by the Queen Mother into the royal family's approach to controversy. However, William's speech in Jamaica appeared to deviate from the policy when he expressed his profound sorrow over Britain's role in slavery. Historian Robert Lacey said, the royal family would traditionally skirt around this sort of issue, so it shows the new generation facing up to social issues and being prepared to talk about them and acknowledge fault. Prince William has endured a frosty relationship with his brother Prince Harry ever since Meghan Markle told Oprah Winfrey that Kate Middleton made her cry ahead of her wedding, a royal expert has claimed. Ahead of the Sussexes ceremony, it had been reported that Meghan had reduced Kate to tears at Princess Charlotte's bridesmaid dress fitting, but the opposite is true, according to Harry's wife. And this is what has created a chasm between the two brothers. Speaking to Palace Confidential on Mail Plus, Ms. Mansi said, It was such a shame. It was described to me as civil, which is Palace courtier for what the rest of us would refer to as frosty. I do think those comments aimed at Kate were extremely damaging to the brothers' friendship. Then we have this book coming out and who knows what will be in it. Meghan revealed that she has since forgiven Kate, but said it was really important for people to understand the truth. She told the chat show host, the narrative with Kate, which didn't happen, was really, really difficult and something that. I think that's when everything changed really. Winfrey pressed Meghan, so specifically, did you make Kate cry? Meghan replied, no, no, the reverse happened. And I don't say that to be disparaging to anyone, because it was a really hard week of the wedding, and she was upset about something, but she brought me flowers and a note apologizing, and she did what I would do if I knew that I'd hurt someone. Meanwhile, Harry and Meghan crossed the red line in deciding to walk away from the monarchy, believes a royal biographer.